Hello everyone. Welcome to Embracing Matches. This is going to be the weekly love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, thank you to anyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. Hit the notification bell. Purchased the reading. Donated to the page. Sent me an email. Talked to me. Sent me a comment below. Thank you so much for everything. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm very humbled to be here and to be able to have the opportunity to help anyone that I can. So thank you so much for having me. Um, this energy could be masculine or feminine. It could be about the person you're thinking of, thinking of yourself or your cross watcher. And if you are a cross watcher and you stumbled across this video, just know that spirit brought you here uh, so that you can get a message too. It's okay. Just hang out. All right. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And you guys, like I said, flip the energy however you see fit. Okay, so for the Capricorns right now, so stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. Okay, um, you guys could be in a situation where you just feel like, you know, I'm not sure about this. Okay, some of you may be two different collectives, people. Some of you may be in a relationship right now that you're not sure about. Let's stay optimistic. Some of you may be separated from a person that you have a lot of passion with time apart from your partner is on the horizon passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy right so some are stay with me some are with a person they're not sure about some would look some is some people are away from the person that they would like to be with or separated from that person that they have a lot of passion towards okay Yep, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, I had to go with that. Now, Spirit of Light. Awakening new dawn beginnings. Some of you have recently just had a new beginning with someone. Okay, you're moving forward in your life, um, moving towards your future. This is what you felt that you needed to do. This was, you know, you, you may have had this predicted to you, maybe... You know, in your dreams, maybe this is what you've always wanted. Maybe this is something you spoke of with someone else, etc. But someone is being controlled. Someone is feeling really empty in this union. And someone feels like someone has to be submissive or they have to be submissive. So Capricorn, you take it how it resonates. Because someone here was very fixated on the other person. Okay, but they may be fixated on that person because this person is doing spell work. It's a spells captivation and temporary and right next to that, magic, psychic, sorcery, okay? Someone may be doing some underhanded things to keep you stuck, Capricorn, to keep you uh, with them, to keep you from moving forward, to pull you back, to keep you in, a, in the, the sense of a uh, spirit of confusion, you may be reflecting on how you got here, what happened, what's going on right now, okay? You may feel like you're in some sort of delusion that is unrealistic right now, that you can't believe, you know, everything that's going on. And, and yeah, you may be concerned about it. You're concerned about the path that you've taken or the path that you would like to take, right? Right? Some of you have a path that you want to choose. And you're sitting there and you're trying to figure out which way to go. But you're making non-action at this time. You're not moving forward. You may feel pitiful about it. You may feel that, you you know, maybe you're going crazy. You just don't know what to do. You may have been irresponsible with someone or with something. And you may have made someone feel like their love or, or was one-sided or you felt like your love for someone else was one-sided and there's a void here in someone's heart because they haven't gotten all that they needed to get someone feels that they were being very cowardly here okay and very stagnant and this tells me that this is going on right now look at this this is how we look right now in this coronavirus stage in this virus era this is how we're looking. Our faces are covered. This is how this person is feeling right now, stagnant. And this is this is happening real time. I'm really feeling. Okay?
someone here had a lot of options and they were trying to use the intuition of who they needed to choose and who they needed to give, you know, um, themselves to or their love to. They were using their logic over their heart with this King of Cups card. And it brought something to an ending, okay? And a completion of, of a contract that you had with someone. Let's get into these. All right, so with the, with the Seven of Cups card, Seven of Cups, I'm feeling maybe someone has Scorpio on their chart. Maybe you have Scorpio on yours. It was just way too many choices. Maybe you're seeing more than one person. You were daydreaming about things that you wanted to happen in your life. You maybe got overwhelmed emotionally, very confused. That's what I was saying, spirit of confusion. Dreams, ambitions, trying to figure it all out, making a decision, you know, weighing, weighing logic and temptation, you know, trying to figure out with your inner self what you wanted to do. You know, you had a very, very uh, big lack of understanding of what your motivations were, though. Were your motivations for love or was your motivations for lust for some of you? Lost time chasing different things that you really couldn't get that time back, right? And you were trying to figure out what, what it is that you wanted to do with the High Priestess card. Using your intuition, trying to figure out what you wanted to do, okay? Right, for men, yeah, you became very infatuated with a female, right, that may not be available to you now because of the way that you've treated them. And for women, you're gonna be desired by a lot of people. You're gonna be very irresistible. So, you know, people are gonna be looking at you because they feel like you've got that good, good, okay? All right, stay with me. I have the high priestess here, the death card in the world. Right? I think that with the world card, this is telling me and the death card that you have completed your cycle with someone. Okay, you're going down another path up here with the, with the pathway card and you may have a concern about it because it's very hard for you to do. But with the page, with the page of pentacles card, Okay, something may have happened in the winter time. Okay, good or bad, something happened here in the winter time where someone felt like this could have been financially too. Something happened with money or with a person. Yeah, some, something happened either financially or with a person in the winter time. Maybe you had to offer to someone or someone had to give to you, Capricorn. Take it how it resonates. King of Cups card for me is a person that, again, they they just don't live in a world of, of, of emotion. You know, they keep their heart tucked away. You know, it's like head over heart person. So in other words, someone feels like they have to make a decision without their heart involved here. With this King of Cups could be Libra or Scorpio. This person likes to avoid conflict. They could be a good mediator and a diplomat. They could be open-hearted, but could still be an introvert, okay? And could keep their feelings um, to themselves, okay? This person could be kind to children, but may appear like he's weak or, or she is a weak person so the, ch the children may run all over top of them once they get older for whomever that's for. With the death card here, again, Scorpio. Someone may have Scorpio in the chart. This is transformation. This is change. This is ending, new beginning. Okay? A relationship is ending. Or a new phase is beginning. You may be holding on to a relationship that you need to release. You may be making someone feel stagnant as well. Making someone feel the void and feel like their 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 love is just one sided. This is you being irresponsible, Capricorn or your your cross watcher. You may be resisting a change and it may be time to walk away. 
either from the relationship you're in or the relationship you're thinking about. Okay, you may need to leave that person alone if you are in 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 tune with two people here, okay? Someone may be pregnant with this death card as well. I see that sometimes that could signify uh some sort of change uh with a with maybe maybe um uh, it's an ending in a new beginning, so it could be you know, a baby's on the way. If, if if you're a single Capricorn and you're not in a relationship in any way, you may need to get rid of old beliefs that you have because they're no longer serving you. And Spirit is telling you to let it go so that you can have a new beginning, okay, with the world card and embrace the transformation that the universe is trying to give you, okay? For some of you, like I said, with the world card, the relationship goals are being met wherever you're at or what have you, okay? You may be holding on to someone else though, but, but Spirit is telling me, okay, that the world is open for you and whomever, but you need to put in the work needed to make whatever this is work, whether you trying to go back to someone or stay with the person you are. You may not be putting in the work that you need to put in for the situation. All right, Capricorn, this has been your message for the week. This one was a hard one. Um, oh, I forgot this card. Invisible. That's why I forgot it. <laughs> Shit. Woo. Someone has the invisible card. Look, I can't make this shit up. Y'all know I'm tired. Listen, let me get the message for this invisible card. <laughs> oh boy, that's so funny. Now, know that not everyone has the ability to recognize you fully. And that perhaps they are caught up in their own stories and can't see you. It's okay. Because those who can see you are important companions on the path to finding your magic. Another meaning for the symbol you have chosen is that circumstances may require you to step back and remain in the shadows. Now is not the time for you to tell all and show everyone your truth. Being invisible protects you from harm right now so that you can observe your surroundings without being vulnerable. Stay hidden, excuse me, stay hidden and watch what others are doing before acting. So Spirit is telling you, you may need to leave people alone. Act like you're invisible and just observe situations for some of you. All right, listen, this has been your message. Let's try this again. This has been your message. Uh, if you guys need a, a personal reading, please hit me up. You guys have a good week.